let's get moving. I love this town. You can always come visit. Screwdriver, really? So much for clean. You're losing your touch. I have something I need done down on 9th, pays well. The market? It's cooked the way you like. constipation. <laughs> <laughs> Would you pick him up? That's none of your business. Oh, come on, boss. Was that your secret lover? <laughs> <laughs> need you to go to Pontel's Produce and Flower Shop. I need you to locate something that's very valuable to me. Coming to you with this, because I know I can depend on you to complete your mission. I need you to do whatever you can to get close to their family. Now listen. There's a black ledger. I need you to locate that ledger. Take care of Pontello and bring the ledger back to me. Why kill him? He represents a danger to me. That's all you need to know. Wait, go check on our shipments. Who's handling the deliveries? Floyd. Floyd? You know he's using again, right? He's never gonna stop. Look, he serves my purpose. 
Contact keeps an eye on him, makes sure that he follows through my orders, and I get to keep my hands clean. Where's the next delivery point? That's something you don't need to know. You have your orders. Got it. Okay, good. Let's get out of here. Okay. Barbara, she's making me one of the specials for dinner. Man, when are you going to marry that girl? See this? She carry this with me wherever I go. And next week's Barbara's birthday, and I think I'm going to pop a question. That's great, Anthony. It really is. A beautiful ring for a beautiful girl. Wish you all the best. Thanks, man. Let's get out of here. Same business. Why don't you grab something inside on me? For my appreciation. Okay. We need help. What we need is better security around here. You better put that money in the bank. There's been burglaries lately. Dominic, it's Bob O'Connor. He just chased away two kids trying to steal fruit. Thanks for your help. Yes, Bob, thank you. Oh, no problem. Happy to help. But the last job I had, I had to deal with a lot of thieves, so. Oh, where'd you work? Robert's department store. I was assistant to the chief of security over there, so. Why'd you leave? Oh, uh, I wanted to take a break. You know, I was actually thinking about starting my own security agency, so. Oh, good for you. Very ambitious. Listen, we need a good pair of eyes around here. Now, this job wouldn't be as demanding as your last one. Anyway. And we feed you well. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I can't. I couldn't even commit to staying on a job for more than six months, so. Pop, even if Bob could only stay for six months, he could be a great asset around here. Sure. Yeah, it's okay with me as long as you give enough notice before you move on. Okay. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Good. Tomorrow. 7 a.m. Okay. Tomorrow. Yeah. Dominic, I'm gonna go out front. <laughs> so, uh, see you tomorrow. Take him. Oh, no, 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 no. No, really. Please, thank you. Okay, yeah, I can give this to my mom. I know you're gonna be a great asset around here. I have to go, Monica. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Mother Teresa. That's real smart, Monica. People are going to take advantage of you now. We can't turn our backs when we see others suffering. <clears throat> Keep your mind on your work. Oh, how can I? When I have you around, Aunt Teresa.
Hey, beat it. Go. Bob! Bob! Hey, hey, hey guy, come on over here. Come in. I want to talk to you for a second over here. Uh, yeah, right over here, man. Take a walk with me. It's a free country, huh? Yeah, I work for these people, oh. okay? And they don't know we're related, and I want to keep it that way. You know what, Dad? No. <laughs> Look. Here. Take this, and clean yourself up, and go home. Hey, Bobby. You got my box. You know what? Here you go, Dad. Go home. Get off of Dominic here? No, uh, he'll be back in the morning. Can I help you? I'll be back. Um, Monica, I'm just gonna walk you home tonight. Come on in, Bob. You want a glass of wine? No. Water? No, 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 I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> you never asked me out. Why? I just think it would be better if we left things the way they were. Well, what if I didn't want to? <laughs> Monica, I just think things would be better if we just left them as they Take are. Take me out for some other shot. <laughs> That's not in the cards, okay? Then, I'll deal us a new hand. I need time. What was Floyd doing you at the store? Told me that you would take care of the job, and yet Dominic Pompello is still breathing air. My hands are still empty. It's not that easy. There's people in and out of that store all day long. I can't just pull out a gun in broad daylight, Harley. Yeah, it's not like the good old days. It happened to you, Bob. You know, once upon a time in the past, you could be depended on to take care of business. Nothing would stand in your way. Every job is different. I had a cousin once. He was very good at collecting money that was owed to me. And I had a client that owed me a substantial amount of money. For some reason, my cousin kept neglecting to collect on the debt. So I investigated the situation. I discovered that my cousin had been screwing the client's daughter. See, Bob, he lost focus. It was a real shame. It made me look weak, Bob. I couldn't allow that. So I arranged a ticket to the land of no return. It was a real tragedy. 
my aunt, his mother, couldn't even identify what was left of the body. You see, Bob, horrible things happen when somebody loses focus. Regular here? Oh no, no. Who's she? Who, oh, Kelly? She's <laughs> an old friend. I've known her for years. I'm serious. Hey, Bob. Hey, Daniela. How you doing? Good. Where can I get you? Um. I trust you. Okay. Uh, can I get two Guinness and two Shepherd's pie, please? Okay, you got it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to Finnegan's Week. This evening we have some very special guests. Tomorrow? Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I had a wonderful time. Me too. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Who the hell are you? I'm Agent Washington, and this is my partner, Agent Donato. We need to speak with you. This time of night? I'm sorry, gentlemen. I have a sick mother to get home to. Am I under arrest? No. Then have a good night. I thought we could have a little friendly chat. You know what? I'm sure I could find a reason to drag his ass downtown. <laughs> you get your kicks from pushing people around. No, right? from exterminating the rodents. What do you want? We want to give you a chance. A chance for what? To help yourself. I'm set, gentlemen. I have a job. Oh, you're going to tell us you weren't casing the joint? The Mignoni's Jewelry and Iris shop in Bristol it was burglarized. I hope they have insurance. Yeah, look, how long have you worked for Harley, huh? I worked for Pontello's... You're going to book me for buying some furniture? It yeah, looks like you scored pretty big to me. <laughs> Listen, gentlemen, uh, I'm sorry. It's late, and I have to get to bed. I have a job to get to in the morning. Are we done here? Yeah, for now. And have a good night. Better use your head, son. Your family needs you. See you around. Dominic! Dominic! Oh, shit! Are you all right? I'll be all right. What happened? Come here. Come here. Sit here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my. It's almost time to open. The family will be here shortly. I had to get you to a doctor. 
I said I'll be fine. And you mustn't mention this to the family. Okay. I have to take off for a couple hours. I have to take my mom to the doctors. Oh, I hope it's not serious. How about you? That's fine. Okay. Care for anything? No, thanks. You sure? Compliments of the house. No, thanks. I'm not hungry. Was it someone close to you? It's my mom. Oh. I'll pray for her. <laughs> it's too late for prayers. Oh, it's never too late, son. God loves you. God loves us so much. Why is there so much evil in the world? Why is my mom dying? Evil comes from man, not God. We have free will to make our own choices. Remember that. And as far as your mom, I'm sure God will take care of her. Mr. O'Connor, you can go back now. I'll be there in a minute. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. You're welcome. So how's she doing today, doctor? Good. As you know, today was her last treatment. And the test results, they show that she's doing well and she's really responding. So I think that Margaret's gonna be all right. So I'm gonna see her back in two weeks and her appetite should start to improve. Okay, thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Thanks. You're welcome. Hey, mom, how you feeling? I feel weak, but better today than yesterday. That's good. I just talked to the doctor and uh, she's got some good news for us. She thinks that you might have this thing beat. So. <laughs> Take it easy. Hey, Grandma. Mom! Hey, Mom! You okay? Okay, Mom? Okay. What can I do for you, Mr. Stern? It may be nothing, but this morning I noticed a red pickup circling your house. What? Yeah, a white guy was driving. A black guy with dreads was with him. Still on that shit? My man, pops and pans. You kept me waiting. Man, give you an envelope for me? I got you. Junebug's expecting his stuff tomorrow. I guess tomorrow. One of these days, stuff's gonna put you to sleep permanently. Don't mess around. Might end up with a bad batch. Why what? 
Wait, 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 wait. Look. Harley figured Patel's daughter got into your head. You couldn't count anyone anymore. All right? So we sent you and Floyd? To finish what you're supposed to do, man. Where is he? It's a drop off to make. Tomorrow. I want the location. Floyd, you're an idiot. I send you to do a simple job and you get squirrely on I me. Had I've got I heard the door. Yesterday a contact came here looking for his envelope. It's got you by the balls, Floyd. If anything goes wrong, I'm gonna take I'm a piece good. of you. I'm gonna get the job done. He's on his way. Make damn sure nothing goes wrong this time. Floyd Brown, I know he's here. Just, just a minute. Floyd, there's a guy asking about you. Damn, O'Connor's following me. Look, I don't want any trouble. Our protection's outside. Yeah, but the trouble is in here. Look, you just go in the bathroom. Let us deal with it. Good enough. Looking for Floyd Brown. Not here. Worse. Let's get him into the chair. I, I don't want any trouble. I, I didn't know they were going to rough you up. Are you feeling any better? I forgot the rule. Rule? Ugh. Never turn your back on a stranger. What are you doing here? I live across the street. Anthony called me. The man you're looking for is my grandson. Floyd? Do you know where I can find him? He comes and goes. Last time he was home was a week ago. What business do you have with my grandson? We work for the same guy. Uh, well, it's easy to get in trouble when you're with the wrong people, son. Yeah, well, we're both in some deep shit. Look, 
you happen to see him or hear from him at all, just have him call me, okay? Maybe we can help each other out. He's all I got. We're gonna have to work together to nail Harley. Been a narcotic agent for seven years. Never been able to pin anything on that low life. So anything I can do to help. Thanks. It works for Harley. We believe he delivers narcotics for Harley. Huh. Never seen him. Be sure to keep my eyes open. Thanks. Hello. I told you never to call me at this number unless it's an emergency. Get off the phone now. Monica, you look worried. I'm, I'm worried about Pop. Hey, Pop, someone called for you. Hey, who was it? I don't know. Um, he didn't leave his name, but he sounded scary. What did he say? Tell him the clock is ticking. <laughs> I know, it's an old friend. He wants to borrow money. Don't worry about it, baby. Hey, pretty lady, do not worry about it. You're hurt. Uh, th no, oh, this, yeah, I was cleaning up my basement and I... Sit down, I'll get you something to eat. What is it with you guys hurting your, hitting your heads? How's your mother? She's doing good, actually. The doctor thinks that she's gonna recover. That's great. <laughs> that smells good. Yeah, my mother taught me well. Coffee? Uh, yes, black, please. Thank you. Um, listen, Monica, um, the other night, I, I had, it was... For me too. I'm gonna go help mom with the customers. I just need a little time to get it together. I know, I know, Harley. You know how it goes. Sometimes you're up and sometimes you're down, but things happen on the up and up. What? Trouble with some orders? Yeah, something like that. You know how it goes, sometimes you uh, order one thing and they end up sending you something else. They make it real difficult for you to change your order. I'm sorry, I don't follow. How do you know, Harley? He's an old acquaintance of mine but I no longer associate with him. Bullshit! Dominic, don't do anything stupid. Okay, calm down, I can explain. I'm gonna slowly place my gun on the table to show you that I have no intention of... Stop. Listen, Dominic, if I was going to shoot you, I already would have. I wasn't lying to you about Harley. I no longer associate with him. So why are you here? Harley hired me to get something from you and to take care of you. But things have changed. Now tell me, how did you get involved with Franklin Harley? 
My love of the pony has led me into a lot of debt. I almost lost the business. So Harley and I set up a, a silent partnership. I fenced some valuable painting for him through my contacts in Sicily, and he took care of my gambling expenses. About a month ago, I told him I was through. Now he's under investigation, and he thinks I have something that will put him away for life. The Black Ledger. Where do we go from here? First, tell me about this ledger. This guy, Floyd Brown, is no stranger to violence. He'll do anything, anything for money. Break fingers, even, even split heads open. I found that out the hard way. He found the ledger, decided to go into business for himself. That's what saved me. Good old Floyd, plenty on both sides. Floyd is desperate and dangerous. You can't trust him. What is so special about this ledger? Harley, I went in his office having a few drinks. He was trying to convince me to do one last job, even though I told him I was through with that lifestyle. He was getting pretty juiced up. The ledger was right there on the desk. He began to brag about payoffs to prominent political figures, government officials, and how he kept a record of names and dates. <laughs> he pointed at the ledger and then he blacked out. <laughs> he would never have let me quit. Your only chance of survival is one of two things now. Either Harley goes to prison or he goes six feet under. When Floyd calls, tell him you have the money, tell him you call him back, and hang up. We'll figure out our next move. Oh, and do me a favor. Do not mention any of this to Monica. I won't if you don't. I promised her and Maria a while back that I was no longer involved with Harley. Well, that's our compromise. Since he came back into my life, I've been the happiest woman on Ninth Street. <laughs> and, uh, you have honestly changed my life. <laughs> Monica, I'm just going to use the bathroom. Tell's daughter messed up your head. You were there to do a job. You lost your focus. Bob, do you hear me? Time's up, Bob. Get out. 
Get out. Monica, I can explain about this. There's a, there's a group. Get out. Hello? Okay, okay, Grandma. I'll be right there. Jim, please stay home with me. I'll be back soon, Margaret. You're gonna be fine. The doctor says you're gonna be fine. Have some important things uh, to do out there? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Thanks. Bastard. Son, he's your father. He is not worth shit. I'll try. I don't need it. Uh, I'm gonna call the doctor. No, just stay with me. Sorry, Bob. Ma was a great woman. That she was. I hate to bring up business at a time like this, but I might need your help. Okay. Give me a call later. I'm gonna pay my respects to the rest of the family. Okay. What do you take me for? Someone special. Oh, special? I'm so special that you used me to get to my family. Look, all my life I con people. I play games. You know, I did it to them before they could do it to me. 
So, you know, these past few months with you actually gave me hope that <laughs> things could change. Why should I believe you? <laughs> There's no reason to believe me. <laughs> I just hope to God that you do. I want to believe you. It's not going to work. Please leave. No, it will. It will. Monica, just give us a chance. Lies! Lies! It's all been lies! Monica, you have to believe me. What, what do you want me to say? <laughs> Look, things are different now. Things have changed. Honestly, that's all behind me. How do you expect me to forget? How many times do I have to apologize for this shit? Don't you believe in forgiveness? Look, no one is gonna love you the way I do. If you hurt me again, I will kill you. Must be Bob. Yes, Carmelo. Carmelo, welcome. Welcome, Bob. You must be Jim. Welcome, Jim. I want to welcome you and let you know that uh, you're more than welcome and you do the right thing. Let me help you with this. So how's the family been? Mm. Uh, struggling with grief, but uh, we'll be okay. Listen, let me cut to the chase. I'm investigating alleged payoffs to political figures and possible city officials. Okay, so where do I come in? Franklin Harley's ledger. Who's ledger? Bobby, he's going down. I don't want you to go down with him. There's a friend I'm trying to protect. I only want the ledger. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Also, there's two feds, Donato and Washington. They're on my tail. Ooh, tough guys, FBI. They're working closely with the DA. Let's see what I can do about getting you some breathing room. Chief. Come on. <laughs> you don't realize what you're doing. I have to get out. No, you don't have to. Give yourself some time. Come on, we can do this. I can't. Yes, you no, can. I can't. Look, Carmelo, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for trying. I gotta go. Gee. Good luck, Carmelo. Good luck. Jim. I almost forgot. I have a note for you. No. Hey, a friend. He was in here earlier with your dad. My dad? Yeah. Everything okay, Bobby? Yeah. Yeah, Mer. Everything's fine. I gotta go.
Where is he? <laughs> God grant eternal rest to your mother, Bob. Rotten how, Harley? Yeah, I probably will. Not today, Bob. What about your daddy? Send Pantello on his way. Bring me the ledger. Done. I just need more time. You have two days. Then your daddy's plane leaves for the land of no return. Leo, don't you see that Mr. O'Connor is made comfortable? Tell Norton to come in here and clean this up. Bob! Bob! Time is running out. Bye. Do you trust him? No. But I got an ace in the hole. It has to dry first, Mr. Harley. It'll be fine. <laughs> I heard you were a contender. <laughs> Middleweight. <laughs> yeah, and you couldn't cut it. <laughs> Booze one out. Lady Luck smiled on you the day I saved your ass at that blackjack table. <laughs> Thanks for the call there, bro. Oh, no problem. I recognize him from that picture you gave me. Yeah, he could have told us a lot about Harley's operation. Looks like now we have to turn to O'Connor. No, I knew him growing up in the neighborhood. He's not a bad guy. He just uh, fell in with the wrong crowd. Well, everybody's got to pay a price for the choices. Look, I'm going to go down to see um, Judge Walters and we'll get a warrant. Check him out. I'm going to go to take Mr. Brown home. That sounds good. Hey, can I be present for questioning? Sure, why not? Hey, don't die. Find anything on him? 
Yeah, some cash and a cell phone. Mr. Brown, I'll see you to your apartment. Doc? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you. Yeah, no bother. Yeah, Floyd Brown's belongings? No, we have his clothes, and I already gave Agent Donato his cell. Cell phone? Yeah, he was looking through it. Uh, he looked disturbed. Is everything all right? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Is there anything else I should know? I told you everything. Maria. Babe, please forgive me. I'm, I'm through with gambling and with Harley. Dominic, I need you to stay at home for the next few days. I have a business to run. <laughs> you don't get it. It's not just our lives that are in danger. Harley has my father. And if he thinks for one second that I'm going to cross him, he's going to cut out his heart and have it for breakfast. Look. Once we get our hands on the black ledger, I'll contact my friend Joe Barone in the police department, okay? Dominic, listen to Bob. We'll take care of the store, Pop. Have you heard from Floyd? No. Why should I feel discouraged? And why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven? My grandson passed away, but he was in some deep water before he passed. He left this box in my bedroom, now inside is a book. Open it in a very safe place. Now go. May God be with you, my son. No, just I see that this gets into the proper hands. Because I'm free, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches, I know he watches, I Anybody home? O'Connor? FBI? Anybody here? Come on, O'Connor, make it easy. Yo, Bob. Radio to three 
Watch in there. Go. Agent Donato has been trying to raise you. He wants you to meet him at O'Connor's residence. 1018 regarding at 1024. I'm on it. Jesus. O'Connor. Bob. Bob. I have a dead federal agent in my house. But you had nothing to do with that. Thanks, but I don't think the police are going to believe me. I have some very important information that I have to get to the district attorney. Why don't you just go to the police? I don't think that they're in the mood to listen right now. What can I do? Can I just call a friend and have her meet me here? Of course. <laughs> Monica, you know I had Nothing to do with this. I'm gonna call Joe and I'm gonna tell him to meet me at the store tomorrow night. I am turning myself in. I'm gonna go with you. Dead or alive. Better to take him alive, Jim. I just as soon have that cop killer dead. You have every right to feel that way. Hello. I need you to meet me at Pantella's Market tomorrow night. Thank you very much, Mr. Sarton. I'll be happy to meet with you. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Poor guy. Calls once a week. Says he sees flying saucers in his yard. <laughs> Jim. I'm sorry about Anthony. He's a good cop. You know he was supposed to be married in June. I want that piece of shit. Frankenstein, what are you doing here? Clean. like you need a little lady luck now, Harley. Son of a bitch, piece of shit! Let me have it. hands up in the air. I'm happy to report the arrest of Francis Harley, chief architect of a burglary ring that has sucked the blood out of the business community in Philadelphia and our surrounding areas. Harley has also been involved in drug trafficking, which plagues the most on the vulnerable people in our society. It's my intent to call a news conference within the next few days. Thank you very much. No question. We just found evidence that Bob O'Connor, he didn't kill your partner. You know I had to break the news to Barbara. Man, I wish I knew the words, man, to ease your pain. It's OK. It's all right. But uh, Barone. They're meeting tonight in Pantella's market. He's bringing the leisure. We really need that. We can clean up the rest of the scum in this city. Messages. Yo, Jim. Floyd's phone. They had a message from Barone. Sounded like it was from Harley, like to cover up a drug deal or something. This guy's dirty. Joe, I think I'm here. here. Joe's gonna take care of everything. Would you like cream in your coffee? Black. Sugar, please. Mmm. Love that smell. 
Hey, there he is. Joe, I didn't kill that agent. I know you didn't. Thank God. But the case is not yet solved. Joe, we have a ledger. And it's evidence of how the legal activity is. Yes, but it does not clear Bob. See, I know he's innocent, you know he's innocent. But the police. Was, Holly was involved in so many things with so many different people. He probably had the agent killed. Why? Because he probably found something out that was damaging mm -hmm. to... Uh, now we're making some progress. So, if we discover what Agent Donato found out, then, then we have proof of Harley's guilt. Uh, I'm afraid not. <laughs> Oof. The walls of Jericho will come tumbling down with the... D.A. ever got a hold of this. Hmm. <laughs> Easy, old man. Both of you. Guns on the table. Joe. Why? I mean, your name isn't in that ledger and... No. I thought I could trust you. Trust? Rust. Like the truth? What is it? Hmm? It's a doggy -dog, dog world out there, buddy boy. So, you have Floyd Brown and Agent Donato killed. Floyd Brown's idol, King Heroin, had him by the balls. His grave was dug a long time ago. Agent Donato dialed the wrong number. You're not gonna get away with this. Uh, I think I will. Say, don't you watch action news? Huh? See, Bob here, he's a cop killer. See, when I arrived here tonight, I found you and your dad shot to death, and Bob standing over you with his gun. No, Joe, that won't work, because the DA knows that I was planning on turning myself into you. Let's see. A hardened career criminal versus a 15-year veteran of the force. I think I'm going to take my chances, because I'm Harley's ace in the hole. I specialize in mopping up the mess. Joe? Please, just let them go. Uh, uh, you know, this, this is very cute. Mm -hmm. Joe.
my lingo. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna talk about this thing we call sanctified swagger real quick. Yeah, let's go. Double take these words as your final notice. God gave me back my vision and my focus. Now I'm a child of God, I think you should know this. That the younger man is the ruler of the oldest. So going forward, walking in my destiny. I'm focused on the one who truly set me free. You have a place while God is blessing me. That's right. And that place is right here underneath my feet. Cause it's the anointing that makes a difference Jesus revealed this The Holy Spirit is my witness This is my genesis So let this ministry begin He places gift within To bring lost souls to him nah. Do you know I'm in the pardon of your sins? Confess your sins Come on and let them in I mean genuine Into your heart and mind And receive this gift That he calls eternal life Yeah, It feels good being saved I'm going to a place where roads are gold paved and I get to see Jesus face to face There's no more running Cause I finished my race So until I get to heaven I rock this thing I call a sanctified swag Until I get to heaven I rock this thing I call a sanctified swag this is the head, center, and foundation. I'm leaning on his promises. My weight can't break them. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. I struggle with this in and out of season. Cause there was a time that I felt worthless. But everything he created, he made it for a purpose. And that revelation changed my perception of myself. There came all the confirmation. I didn't know you could flow like that. With spoken word and holy rap. God give to me this spirit, fill me. Man, this is easy and I won't go back. All my hate Hate it, and all my doubters doubt it But all that talk was like throwing rocks at a mountain D to the V to the I and E L to the I to the N to the G O this with a hippo with a quick flow Devil act like a six four hit low Need knows not about the dough Not about the clothes Not about the shows Who's rich is froze Who sells the most It's about that precious Holy Ghost It feels good being saved I'm going to a place where roads are gold paved And I get to see Jesus face to face There's no more running Cause I finished my race so until I get to heaven, I rock this thing I call a sanctified swag. Until I get to heaven, I rock this thing I call a sanctified swag. Some say I sound cocky whenever I'm flowing. I'm operating in my gift, I know where I'm going. The source of my power is in the round and above me. Haters are like the devil because they know they can't touch me. Confidence in God's word is not being conceited. God's word makes some promises to me. And